In this video, we're going to look at website graphics. So we're going to cover transparency, alpha channels, um, rounded corners, and save-in. So just uh, make an image whatever size. Resolution, if you want something low res, like an image that's going to float in some text or something, do 72 pixels an inch. I like to use 300 when I want something uh, that's going to stand out to my user, like a header or that kind of thing. Color mode, use RGB. If you have the option for index, which you probably don't because it's kind of old, um, don't use it because it's a pain in the ass if anybody wants to um, edit that in Photoshop because you need to convert it um, to RGB to do anything with it. And it's simple to do, but it's just a pain. Uh, background contents, keep transparent. Even if you're not going to use transparency, use transparent anyway because if you decide to change that later it's going to be a lot better or easier. So I'm going to fill this with a color and I'm going to turn the opacity down to 70% for an example later. I'm going to make a square, a rectangle and I'm going to simplify that shape. Now it's a raster and I'm going to Command click it on Mac, Control click, I think, on a PC, or just use a magic wand tool that'll select it. Now go to Select, Modify, and Smooth. And uh, change the radius depending on the size of your image. Um, and you can see now we've got uh, some sharp corners. So now go up to Select, Modify, and Smooth again. And click OK. Now I've got a nice smooth uh, roundness. And if you push delete, um, it's going to only delete the center, not the corners. So we need to go up to select, inverse, and then hit delete, or backspace. And now we've got round corners that are pretty smooth and stuff. Now I'm going to do some type stuff. I'm on the type mask tool right now. That's made a selection, so I'm going to hit delete, and I'm going to hit delete on this bottom layer again, and that's our image. So for saving, you got three formats with the web. You've got GIF, which I only use when I want animation. Um, GIF do transparency, and they support animation. Colors keep on most you can do, so that's 256 here. And you can change your animation stuff too. So click OK and you save that. I'll replace OK. The next um, format is PNG. And there's two PNGs. There's eight, which only does transparency and uh, generally makes a smaller file. Like this is uh, three and a half K. And that's 1.34 megs, so it's a lot smaller. And then we've got PNG 24, which is twice as big ish and um, does transparency and alpha channels. Alpha channels um, let you do semi transparent parts of an image. So um, on the PNG 8, only the red's going to show. But on the 24, 70% of the red is going to show, and 30% of the background is going to show. So I've already saved um, each of these, and uh, keep in mind if you're doing PNG 8, the colors are at the most you can go, so that's 256. Uh, 24 has pretty much unlimited, so don't worry there. So just cancel that, and then we're going to open up my sample web page and there it is so there's the animated gif um it's blinking between the rounded rectangle layer and the um red background that's why we don't see anything uh around the corners except the background and uh the type is gray because that's transparent and the background of the site is showing through um png8 um, only does transparency as well, 
um, and it's a small size, um, and it looks pretty good. I just realized that I forgot JPEGs, so I'll do that after. Uh, PNG24 is showing 30% of the white background and 70% of the red. That makes it look pink, and uh, the rest is full transparent, so it looks good. Go back and do JPEG. So JPEGs are good for images with lots of color. You can adjust the quality of JPEG, so that's pretty nice. On low quality, we've got lots of artifacts and yucky stuff, so it looks like crap. Um, so I keep it at high, or very high, for a JPEG. And remember, JPEGs only are good if you have lots of color and like a gradient or something. And they don't support transparency. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching the video. Um, if you like this video, please comment and rate it. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.